Hey, I'm Caprice Coleman, and I'm here with another exclusive interview for our Shea Wrestling, the Pan-African Champion, Shug D. It made me thought that the Pan-African Championship was like this Trisha Doris title, and you proved it to be different. There's always an exception to every rule, so, you know. What's different about the Pan-African Championship? This championship is being seen. I look at something like this, and I think about what if we'd had something like this when, you know, Coco Beware was doing his thing, when JYD was doing his thing. I got to thinking about our post-match interview at Ashen. I took that out on you, and I'm sorry. I don't know, man. I just feel like this culture today is riding on the backs of people that put in the work for this to be what it is. You get a chance to be cool. You get a chance to be on the internet. Where was this at 20 years ago when it wasn't cool to be black? You walking around like you really got something going on. Like you like you carrying the culture on your back. Bro, you ain't strong enough. I didn't stop. I stayed here. I didn't go nowhere. As a man of faith, your miracle was right there. But you know what you did? I'm gonna take the comfortable route out. Let me put the suit on. Let me sit in the commentary booth with Ian. That's, that's just a little bit easier, right? We had to be good in the ring. We had to be good in the mic. We had to be in great shape. We had to have everything they didn't have to be excellent on all parts. You just took two more steps with me. It could have been me and you in that title match. It might have even been you with this title. And now you coming off a certain kind of way because it's me and it's not you. When it could have been you. You said ain't nobody tried to open the door for you. There it is. 